Whoa, it is his beautiful face. It is In today's video I thought I would film a couple of things that we bought our puppy before we brought him home. So it's me and my partner's first dog that we've ever had. So it was all very new to us so I did do a lot of research online and watching YouTube videos, the things people recommended. Of course so long as the puppy's loved and he's got food and a warm bed I'm pretty sure that's enough. But I just thought I would show a couple of things that we got to make a puppy's life a little bit more exciting. So one of the first things we bought was a bed. And we looked around at a couple of places for a bed. In the end we ended up buying this one from HomeSense because they have a really good dog selection. It's this one. This is the blanket that came from his breeder. From It's got the mum scent on it and the other puppies. Which doesn't smell the best but... <laughs> help them sleep. So yeah, this is the bed. It's quite a big bed. So he is a whippet. So he's only tiny at the moment, but he will grow a bit bigger. So not huge. So that should last him quite a long time. It's really soft inside. It's very fleecy. It's got very good padding and it kind of has these high bits at the side. He rests his head a lot um, over the edge of it. So yeah, that's his bed. I bought um, a blanket to go in it to keep him warm. This was from b and uh, all home bargains, one of them. So only cheap but does the job perfectly. Something else we bought was his food bowls. I wanted one that I'd seen on someone else's YouTube video where it's like a, a mat with two bowls in that would be big enough sort of to see from puppy through to adult, I think they will anyway. And then the mat kind of catches all the mess around it. It just looks a bit tidier as well because the, the bowls have somewhere to sit. Um, and like I say, yeah, it catches the mess and the water that gets flicked out. It's easy to clean. So that was from Amazon. I will link everything I've mentioned in the description box below if I can find it still. But we did end up buying him one of these. Um, so this is a slow feeder. And so when we first brought him home, he would waff his food down so fast. Um, and then he would end up being sick a couple of times afterwards as he just couldn't get down quick enough. So after looking online, a lot of people recommended the slow feeder. So, so you just put the food in there. We add a bit of water to his food as well. Um, and then it takes him about 10 minutes to eat his dinner. Now, whereas opposed to it was like three seconds before out of the bowl. <laughs> it's much better for him. It helps with loads of things like digestion. It's also really good for their brains because it's like stimulating. They've got to think how they get the food out. Um, so that's great and it also gives us 10, 15 minutes of being able to do something while he's distracted with his food. Um, but that's great again, I'll link that down below. So something else we got that I saw on someone else's, a couple of people's YouTube videos actually and Instagrams was this little lamb. So this lamb has a heartbeat in it so it's obviously supposed to replicate his mum and sleep in with other puppies in the litter and he has slept brilliantly since day one so I would highly recommend this. He loves it. Every day he's got into this routine when he wakes up in the morning he has his breakfast, he comes out and plays, he goes back in his bed, gets the lamb, brings it out, cuddles with it on the sofa, tries to rip his ears off. <laughs> he chews a lot of it and the feet but he really every night he cuddles it he puts his head over it um so when the heartbeat's going he must think it's very comforting i would highly recommend getting a lamb again that was off amazon um a few other people as well had said about putting hot water bottles in the bed and so you could either have a hot water bottle in the bed for like a couple of hours and then when you put them in the bed take the hot water bottle out and then it's a nice warm cozy spot for the puppy to sleep in. I haven't actually done this yet. I just thought I would see how he goes without it. And he has slept fine, to be honest. Um, he's got two blankets in his bed and it's very fluffy. He has his lamb. So yeah, but I do think that would be quite nice. Um, in winter when it's particularly cold, it, it, they might like a hot water bottle, especially whippets. They do like to be kept warm, they get quite cold. They love to snuggle, so I might do that in winter. Something else we got were puppy pads. Um, now we had no intention of training him on puppy pads we wanted to take him outside from the beginning but they have come in handy that odd time that we've had to leave him in the crate and go shopping and he might have had an accident on the puppy pad at bedtime as well and um, he sleeps in his crate and we will put a puppy pad in there and he rarely does anything but the odd time he has had a wee 
but he is pretty much fully trained now. He's 13 weeks old and he waits at the door to go out. Um, so we just took him out every half an hour after every nap time, every play time, and he seemed to pick that up really quickly, so that was great. Another thing that we got, a pretty standard rope toy. See, they're a teething as puppies, so they just chew everything. So this is great, he loves chewing on this. This little bone, which is chewed a bit, but I wouldn't say that was one of the main things that he loved um but it has come in handy he kind of keeps it we let him keep it in his bed and he jumps on that every now and then along with oh <sighs> along with the rope toy we also bought a kong after reading loads of good reviews about the kong which is this which if you're a dog owner you will probably know what this is if you don't like me i was like what the heck is a kong yeah so you can put treats inside or like a paste um and then it keeps them occupied for a little bit whilst they try and get it out and it's also like they just enjoy chomping on it so we've only got a small one but they do come in different sizes depending on the size of your dog that is the puppy one so i think that's the smallest one you can get we also got a towel which again i think was from home bargains or bnm it's got this little paw print on um just for when it's raining or just when we collected him as well if anything had any accidents in the car we had a towel there to get rid of the mess uh, a couple of last things um just before he wakes up because i have left him asleep upstairs Hopefully he's not destroying my bedroom. Got him a little jumper, that was from Pets at Home, just to keep him warm when we're out on walks. We got a pack of tennis balls, um, which he likes to catch playing around the garden. A little treat bag, really handy when you go on walks, just to keep treats in. Some of these things we have bought a few weeks into having him. We will get eventually probably a rough wear harness for him and proper coat and fleece and snood and things but for now we've just got this small um harness until he gets a bit bigger his favorite toy out of everything though is definitely slippers he's probably destroyed about three of my slippers so i would say if you're getting a puppy just buy a cheap pair of slippers wear them and i think it's a great toy he seems to really like this donut it's got a squeaker in it um which i'm not going to squeak because it will probably wake him up but yeah he had one of these from the breeder that we collected him from so she got one of those did try um to bell training which at first was going really well a couple of times he did go over and press the bell to go outside to let us know that he needs to go to the toilet however as he got a couple of weeks older he just thought it was a toy and kept picking it up and putting it in his mouth and running around with it so um that's not gone to plan so far obviously one of the essentials is poo bags we bought a big bulk off amazon which is like a pack of 600 i think which seemed really reasonable so I will link those below. I will also insert a couple of clips of the food that we give him, um, the treats, how I store his food, and just a couple of things. So I bought this basket. This was from TK Maxx, just to store all his bits in. Um, and when we were potty training him, when we were taking him outside every half an hour, we also got up in the night with him, um, usually around half two, three. He would then go out to the toilet in his little basket at the side of the door. We kept things like a torch, just because it was pitch black outside. Um, however, we now have installed a light at the back of our house, so we can just turn the light on. We keep the poo bags handy, an umbrella, just in case it's raining in the night when you're going out. And yeah, like I said, since we have bought him a couple of other toys, and he has been very kindly gifted toys from family and friends. We also have another blanket that we keep over his crate that we've like dropped down at night, so it's a bit more cosy. Uh, we also have a crate in the car as well, and we're taking him out and about on journeys and a separate little bed in there. If there's anything else you want to know or you would like to see, just let me know in the comments. Um, and I can make another video. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please give a huge thumbs up because I only have about 11 subscribers, so I'd love for you to subscribe. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.